Leadership and its impact on nation building highlighted as a local foundation seeks to make a difference. Good evening all, I'm C.S. Gatterly and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. The Miles and Ruth Monroe Foundation was established to empower communities through leadership adoption and guidance and promote partnerships and educational initiatives. The foundation held its second annual Black Tie Gala event last night at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort, where individuals were not only recognized for their impact on the country, but globally as well. Altaviz Malinks tells us that the Prime Minister applauded the foundation's efforts. Leaders are meant to be servants, not masters. The legacy of the late Dr. Miles and Ruth Monroe can be described as true leadership and dedication to the church and national development. Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Hubert Minnis admitted to those attending the Monroe Legacy Gala Banquet Saturday night that since being sworn into the country's top position two months ago, he has learned several lessons on leadership, including the importance of being open to growth and learning from others. Sometimes... We only learn from tough love or crisis. If we can suspend our egos and truly listen to the word of God and to our colleagues and critics, we can better discover how to improve ourselves as leaders and as human beings. We have to be able to discern the difference between determination and stubbornness. By the way, sometimes the difference is razor thin. Prime Minister Minnis said history has repeatedly demonstrated that the lust for power corrupts those who view it as an end and not as a vehicle for a higher purpose. He noted that the privilege of any office must be tied to the higher privilege of serving the greater good. This includes service to higher values and a mission bigger than one's ambition. I have also learned that there should be a joy of leadership. It should be a joy to serve others and to collaborate in building a better and more just world. The Prime Minister then shared these words of advice with officials of the Miles and Ruth Monroe Foundation. You have the great privilege and responsibility to extend the night's gala to a larger banquet, table beyond this banquet hall. The larger banquet must be one that will physically and spiritually feed others, especially the poor, and most vulnerable in our society. Government, business, labor, and civic groups, such as religious organizations and foundations, all have a role to play in the nurturing the common good. Let us work together to see how this common good can be advanced globally and here in the Bahamas. This important work will be a tremendous tribute to the lives and legacy of the late Dr. Miles Monroe and Ruth Monroe. The foundation presented awards for community leadership and service to Olympian Lee Van Superman Sands, daughter of the late Dr. Martin Luther King, Dr. Bernice King, and U.S. Ambassador Andrew Young. The foundation also donated a check to the National Emergency Management Agency to assist in ongoing hurricane recovery efforts. Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.